All right. <laughs> hello, hello. We've got the furry babies, Coco Bean <laughs> and Coco Chanel. <laughs> And then, of course, there's the owners, the humans. And there's <laughs> Karina and Ava. And today, I'm really excited to share. We'll have Karina share um, how she serves so many people. And I really wanted to make sure that I share with you guys ASAP. Because I know these are sensitive, special times. And I feel like this is... They need to know now. Everybody needs to know now that there's these options and people feel all sorts of ways emotionally. And some, you, sometimes you don't, it's, you don't need to go through that alone or you need another perspective. And I'd like to learn today, what does it mean to be coached by Karina and like who's a candidate? Who can you help and who do you want to help? Who? Who should, who should go to you for your uh, support? Okay. Well, thank you for giving me this space. Um, you know my heart. You know I always want to serve and help people. Um, just a little bit about myself first. I um, started my journey about three years ago when I was going through a divorce and my life fell apart and I got really depressed. Um, I lost myself. I didn't know who I was anymore. And it was um, a very difficult time to, to, be a, to, to rediscover, redefine who I was. And being alone, um, it was very painful. I'm very thankful for Ava. We were just talking about that. Mm -hmm. She was a pivotal and a force in my life to get myself in this path. And she's seen my journey. She knows my heart. So very honored, very honored to be here and share this space with you. Um, so yeah, that's how I started. Um, I discovered Coop Blexen. He is a transformation, transformational coach and teacher. And I started my journey with him. I went to his women's seminar. Then I did his Bali 12-day um, immersive uh, program. And then I did his coaching program, which is a year long. And this past year, I assisted his coaching program. So I've been fully immersed in this process um, for a couple years now, healing myself, working with myself, and also helping people uh, in the process. So I'm, I love this, I love it. I discovered this is my life purpose. It is what I wanna do, I wanna serve, I wanna help people, I wanna help people heal. And what is a transformational coach? People ask me all the time, because I think there are so many different coaches mm -hmm. out there. Every day, is a, everybody's a coach these right. days, right? Um, and I actually was a, a fitness coach with, with, you know, a health and fitness coach. We, we started the journey a few years ago. So I've coached people at, at that capacity, mm -hmm. at that level of eating and uh, supplements and exercising and getting their body to the best shape and being their best physical version of their, their themselves. And now it's more a holistic um perspective from me. Um, I, I work with the person holistically. It's more about um, healing your heart, you know, and bringing your true self out. It's not so much about um, looking your best. It's more about being you. Mm -hmm. And we have everything we need inside of us, you know, and, and we are, I believe we are spiritual beings living this human experience. And when we come into the world, we come this whole, beautiful, complete being, right? I mean, if you look at a little child, right. you look at a baby, and it's they're so pure and innocent and, and joyous, right? They're so happy, they're so perfect. And I mean, even as they come into the world, it's a traumatic experience, right? They're being slapped and, <laughs> you know, there's, like, there's bright lights and, I mean, it's traumatic just to be born. And then you meet your parents and you meet, you know, your grandparents and kids at school and your cousins and siblings. And, and it's like we start being conditioned. Mm -hmm. um, we start getting hurt and we are, we have traumas and pain. Mm -hmm. And so it creates these blocks and everything that happens in our lives stays um registered in our nervous system. So I believe our bodies are actually our unconscious mind. So we have an unconscious mind, but our bodies 
you know, it is also part of that memory. So a lot of times we don't remember things that happen in our lives, but our bodies does. So, you know, our body wow. does. Um, and so what happens is you sometimes keep repeating the same pattern in your life. You know, you're dating the same person. Mm. The same thing is happening over and over again. You get the same type of job, you know, the same situations. You get into the same type of accidents. Same situations keep happening over and over and over in your life. Or you feel like you're stuck, you know, you know, you, you're really working really hard and you're trying really hard to have a breakthrough, but something's keeping you stuck. Um, so that's because there is some energy stuck. Wow. And as we were talking earlier today, mm. there is nothing out there. Everything is in here, right? Everything out there is just a, your own perspective. So... Mm. If you want to, um, if you want to know what's in your conscious mind, look at your reality. Your reality, the people in your life, your relationships, everything is a mirror to what's happening inside of you. So, you know, look at your relationships. Wow. If a relationship is a mirror, do you like what you see? And right. if you don't, if you're complaining about the other person, if you're not happy with, with your relationship, you know, if you're not happy with your life, what is going on inside that mm. you need to look at, take a really good look at and deal with. And it's not always pleasant, right? Um, and it's an ongoing work, you know? Mm. But um, it, it, it's not always pleasant. But like you said, we have to be brutally honest with ourselves. If you want to change something in your life, you have to be brutally honest with yourself. You know, if you keep pretending to not see it and lying to yourself, you're only going to continue this pattern. Mm -hmm. And what you mentioned that stood out to me is you said sometimes our bodies do things kind of like muscle memory are responding a certain way with us not even consciously knowing it. And I guess that's how that's why the support of another perspective is huge because we find ourselves kind of like naturally doing the same things and we don't catch it yeah because you can't see your own eyeball right right okay I mean, <laughs> I mean, you need a mirror right you put it that way you need a mirror you right need, you need it that's why oh, we need wow. each other. and so yeah. i like to say we are spiritual beings living human experience wow. but i always like to ground ourselves because i'm i'm a very spiritual person and i believe in energy and i believe mm. in 5d i believe you know that there are things that we don't see but I also believe that we're here and we have to be present and grounded and remember that we are humans. We need each other. We are not built to live alone and to go through life and figure everything else, everything alone. And this is actually something that I personally have been um, working within myself because I'm a person that I always go like, I can do it by myself. I don't need anybody. And COVID actually mm -hmm. showed mm -hmm. me, no, you actually do. You actually do need people. You actually do need help and you need friends and community and people to reflect back to you and people to help you. So that's what I want to do. I want to help others so that they can be all that they want to be, all that they were meant to be, all that God created them to be. Um, and that's where my work comes in. Basically, we work on removing those blocks. We work on feeling the emotions that are stuck, you know? I, I, I like to joke that the first time I went to that, that seminar, I was spiritually constipated. There was a block mm. inside of me and I had to release that in order for the energy to flow in, you know, in me again. Um, so a lot of times we, we're not aware of that. We're not aware that we have a blockage. But, you know, you look at your life and then you see, okay, there's, these are not, this is not working for me. So then you come to me and we have an intention and, and then we work with that intention to remove those blocks. Right. Um, yeah. And it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful, powerful work that we, we work together. You know, it's not me. It's us together co-creating. Um, commitment is very important. And... I just like to remind you that in order to heal, we have to feel. Mm. But people are so afraid of feelings. Wow. They're so afraid of emotions. And I just want to 
say this emotions are not good or bad it's just energy emotion and if yeah the energy is stuck in your body that's what creates the negative it's not the energy wow. that it's bad it's not the emotion that's bad um it's what we perceive or create it to be that creates negative things Oof. yeah but in the end there's no no negative because Life, universe, God always works everything together for our highest good. And sometimes it's hard for us to see that, you know, because we get stuck in our rut, mm. we get stuck in our own mind. And that's when a coach can help you see things differently and work through those, re releasing those emotions and reframing and then, you know, helping you integrate how to make the change so that you can break those patterns so that you can have your breakthrough so that you can move forward in life and grow and evolve and not just achieve but be mm. it's it's about being not so much doing right and it's so awesome to kind of see like the timeline of a journey because both me and Karina went through our physical journey where and it's funny because the things she's saying about like emotional uh blockages and you what did you say emotional constipation spiritual constipation. spiritual constipation it's almost what people would tell us in the health world like oh my god i didn't know i was that drained until i felt this much energy i didn't feel like my digestion was bad after all until i just felt this amazing <laughs> feeling with you know everything surging in this new lifestyle and so it's like, it feels like it's the same thing, but emotionally in a deeper level and a spiritual level. And also it's like, you know, I feel like after now it's wow, five years, over five years in our health journey, once you achieve, you know, we did a bodybuilding competition together. Once you achieve your best physique, once you achieve feeling as you know, energized as ever, well, what now? What then? Right. And then it comes to. Ooh, like the the core stuff and you can't have one without the other you need that full spectrum and that's yeah. that's what i especially through quarantine i feel like that's what we're all learning we need the full circle like if you have that amazing health but you're you're not addressing things internally maybe maybe the real constipation you address <laughs> but not the spiritual constipation you're still not the best you can be so it is really Oh, and you're, not a, you're not healthy. You're not healthy. Mm. You can drink the green mm. juice all you want, your vitamins. Mm. If your heart is not in Ooh. the right place, you know, if you're spiritually constipated, if you have spiritual uh, energetic blocks and you're having anxiety or you're not sleeping, are you really healthy? You know, so all right. you got to remember that. You, if your heart is full of shit, <laughs> right. you're not healthy. Right. <laughs> you can drink right. heart of the green juice right there. You know, you got to drink the green juice, but you also have to take care of your heart and your mind and your soul. So all three. And I was actually having a revelation about that this week because because of, since I had COVID, uh, it's been really hard to get back into exercising. You know, we've always exercised a lot and it's been it's been tough. Um, one, because I fell off my routine and two, because my body felt a little bit weak. I lost a, a lot of weight and um, it, it's my resistance just haven't been my stamina hasn't been there so it's taking me a little bit um of time and, and you know dedication mm -hmm. to get back but i'm working at it and i realized that in the past my sole motivation to exercising was to being looking the best right mm -hmm. having the body when i achieve that six pack i'm gonna be happy when I, you know, when I get my body like that, when I'm on mm. stage, I'm going to be happy. And sure, those are, those are exciting moments, right? And when you achieve, it's exciting. It's exciting for a few moments. Right. But then you, you go back to, okay, now, 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 what? now what? Right? Yeah. But I realized this week that even if I was doing just 10 or 15 minutes of, you know, exercise of yoga, I was doing it for myself to love myself, to feel better. To, to be more energized, but, you know, in a way that was like to worship the God inside of me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't so much, I need energy to get through the day. It was mm. more like, I want that energy that fills my heart. 
and makes me feel whole and complete oh. and filled with love for myself, for my soul. Oh, it's and, a deeper, yeah. deeper core uh, motivation. Yeah. And, and I, and I realized how much more I enjoyed right. those 15, 20 minutes at exercise. And I actually wanted to continue. I said, no, I can't today. I'm going to, I'm going to stop for today. I'm going to continue tomorrow. But those 20 minutes were like holy. They were sacred, you know? Oh, I can relate because I feel like it's always been beast mode going into this health world. Like, oh, beast mode. Like, I'm going to get, I'm going to get extreme this and extreme that and this. And now walking into 2021 and going through what these past year has, um, you know, brought our way. It's really balance mastery. I feel like, and now it's not, I did three hours of workout. It's no, I balance workout, uh, you know, mind, body, soul work. I've got everything, um, and I feel like that's true mastery. It's not how yeah. much can we <laughs> overwork and yeah. Um, yeah, uh, how many hours can I run my body down. Yeah. It's no, I, I, I balanced, I mastered giving me everything I need, f you know, fully and at the core and have reasons of substance, not just all these surface level things that are really you know, like the metal or being on stage and it, it to hear what we're talking about now. Yeah. And when we were uh, prepping, I would yeah. tell myself stage, 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 yeah. best body of my life. Right. Oh my God. Our, our, um, our motivations yeah. are really coming from the heart and the it's core. Wow. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a steep, deeper it's level. Deep. And that's what I feel like is really fulfilling moving forward and that's a really important part of the journey. And, um, you know, she's, Karina is, oh, I think I just pulled her for a moment. I know every, as soon as we, we leave right now, she's going to be, um, you know, helping some clients. So she's really busy. She's really passionate about um, her work because you, you've seen the transformation. I've seen the transformation in her and even just this discussion now it's really pouring out um how much she's transformed how much growth and um what i love about her is she's just excited to pour all her knowledge onto everyone else even in the in just a, an hour i've been next to karina i could feel the alignment i feel the warmth i'm feeling uh, full and I'm really excited for her to Thank share you. that with others and that's why I made her go on this platform so more Thank people you. can know you know how impactful your work is yeah. So thank you, Karina, and please, please feel free to reach out to her and feel this energy I feel. Thank you, everybody, and see you soon.